Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tell Me Why. Last time we left off, we were talking to Greg over here, over some cobbler, and he mentioned that we caused a lot of trouble at the police station last time. Which, I mean, we just did what we had to do, so... Screw you, Greg. So, let's go ahead and resume. Alright, I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... They mostly don't change even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. before this will pass I wasn't exactly sure what had to happen here at first, but I think I've got it now. Just keep going. In and out. I really feel for Allison here, though. Heartbeat slowing down. Anxiety attacks are no joke. And panic attacks. It's some scary stuff. You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are going to be like. Or when I'm going to see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're going to be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um... Uh... Went back to the house and got a few things for you. I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... <laughs> This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I 
I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. Greg's was being an ass. That's what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. Uh, we are not telling him. We are not. We are not telling him it wasn't our fault. Uh, I'm gonna say I want to forget. I just wish I could forget about it all. Never think about it again, ever. I understand. Trust me, I do. But there are ways to make peace with it. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... It never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Uh, I really don't want to tell him. I can't move on. Tyler keeps telling me that too. So you two agree on something. But I'm just not sure I can. Maybe it's time I finally talk to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that. There's no shame in getting help. Please. Just do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Exhausted. But... Not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close was he to Marianne? How close were he and Marianne? I... I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so 
that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Okay. So yeah, I was I was thinking Sam was probably their father. Possibly. Although it also could have been this hunter. So who's to say really? Also, the hunter was talking about the kids and everything. So Okay. You can do this. I personally think the hunter is Alexander. Because why is he such a named and prominent character when we've barely talked to him otherwise? It just seems very, very suspicious to me. Like, we've seen him since the very beginning, and we haven't really had any reason to talk to him, so to me that screams that he's potentially the hunter and the person that was taking advantage of Marianne. But I'm kind of just spitballing here. So I could be wrong. Maybe that's just want what they uh, want us to think. They want us to be suspicious of Alexander. But he just seems to be popping up in the story way too much to just be a random citizen of Della's Crossing that has no impact on the story whatsoever. Damn it. What? Oh, there's a read prompt? Out of order, go around. Okay. Good. He's here. Yep, there's old Sam. Sam, I'm coming for you. I'm coming, friendo. Uh. You can do it, Allison. I know this is probably extremely difficult. For anybody that's ever had a panic attack, you know how rough it actually is. It's, uh, not fun. And she's obviously dealing with quite a lot right now. I really feel for her. Here we go. Take in some of the sights. Calm down. Breathe. Mm. It is such a beautiful view All here. Right. Let's do this. Mr. Sam Kansky. Family's family. Get it. <laughs> Fuck it. I already got the lifters in there. Damn it. <sighs> Need some thread sealant. You're drunk as hell, aren't you, Sam? Oh, Allie, I... <laughs> Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. Hey, cuz... Uh, did you need something? Oh, geez. He's talking to me. Uh, just checking on you. I, um, I was just driving by and wanted to see how you were doing. I heard there was some trouble on the docks. There's always trouble on the docks. Hey, cuz, I left you my boat a month ago, and as far as I can tell, the only work you've done is test how much beer you can fit on it. I paid you in advance as a favor because I know you need it, but goddammit, I need my boat. Family is family, and get it done by this weekend, or I'm reporting it stolen, and I know you're tired of brown on your ass. P.S. Answer your goddamn phone. What do we... do I... I mean, I guess... Uh, where's where's your brother? Uh, back at the house. Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? Hmm. All right. Your bank account's not looking very good, Sam. Someone's notices you summoned to appear and answer this complaint on the following date and time. Court appearance is mandatory. State of Alaska? Oh, jeez. 
Alaskan Fishermen's Association. Building construction. The, uh, how's the house coming along? Uh, physically painful. Honestly, physically painful. It'll be a miracle if I don't throw out my back. Let your brother do the heavy lifting. So he can throw his back out? <laughs> Not better. Lara. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. Haul out? Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the hull. I've been uh, missing some tools I need, so it's taking a while. Why'd the game just save there? Suspicious. Can I even, can I go in this door? Is that a thing that I can do? No. Why'd the game save when I went up these stairs? Maybe it was just because I progressed the dialogue with Sam a bit. I don't see a reason to lean on that, really. Hmm. Q, read, compressed air. Why, why am I taking his compressed air, man? Shit. These freaking nuts are stuck. Why am I stealing a lot of Sam's shit and looking at his bank account and stuff? Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. Yeah. Impressive collection. You want some? Take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. Ooh. Uh, I didn't know you like astronomy. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from a ride? Fair. Oh, that's a really nice sextant. Oh, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? All right, so why did we take his compressed air? Anybody want to want to riddle me that? Why? For why? That's some very flat pizza over here. Extremely thin crust even, so much so that it looks like it's painted onto the cardboard. Yes, yes, fantastic. God. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, yeah. um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spot and puny for the whales. I don't know where we're headed, but <laughs> we sure as hell are going there. Well, Sam isn't a climate change denier, which is nice. Sam at least appears to be learned in some of these regards. And he did, uh, seem to change his tune about Tyler, which was nice, so... What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna talk to you now? Give you the compressed air. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's a red can. Oh, princess. Red can. So. Ah, oh, damn it. What happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. It should be in that cupboard over there. Cupboard, cupboard up here. I didn't even hear him ask for anything. Is that is that the other can that he wants to? 
What is that, like WD-40 or something? Okay, well we got him the gauze. Let's bring that over to him. He said it's a red can, the yeah, thing the you need. should be in that uh, cupboard over there. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Ooh, ow. Sam? Are you our father? What? <sighs> Out of nowhere? Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. I don't think he's lying. But you were so close. But you two were so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Mary Ann would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. the last time you cracked a window? Come over here. Sit with me. Be there in a second. Looking sharp, first mate, Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that... That was, uh... A long time ago. Uh, Young Sam. What do you do on board? Oh, I work the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull, ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. A lot of coupons, I notice. Yeah, young young uh, Sam was a snack. Look at him. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. You'd make a good pirate, Sam. You even had the beard for it. Glacier Bay. Who is this? Is that Sam with kids? Let's open a window. Much better. Yeah, he's uh, probably nose blind to the smell in here, if I had to guess. But it's probably not a great one. Hey, come have a look. One sec, I'm just snooping. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. Hmm. Interesting. Hero boat captain saves crew members. Samuel Kansky, the 29-year-old captain of the Annie 
Anacock Rose didn't think twice before jumping into the icy cold choppy waters of Mitchell Plants to save members of his crew uh, after their vessel capsized. Sam, you're a hero. Um, I'll come take a seat. I'm just. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. Dad, talk to mom and she said you were having some trouble. It's not much, but hopefully it's enough to put some food in the fridge. Call me R Richard. <sighs> Poor Sam. Almond casserole. Meal plan. <laughs> Love this picture of your mom. You have a meal plan? Interesting. Alright, I'm almost done snooping, I promise. I, I think that's everything. Oh, wait, no, we didn't look at the TV. Oh, wait, no. no that's that's just looking at that note again. Okay, okay, I think we're done here, Sam. Alright. What's all this? Here, I, uh, kept a few things. Excuse me, am I sitting on, like, a wire spool? <laughs> Swords and schemes. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Did you like it? Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. Happy birthday. Dear Sam, most bears only live to 20 or 25, so congratulations on making it to 29. I certainly wouldn't have survived long out here without you, so thanks again for everything you do. Lara is a l very lucky woman. I know you think the best part of your past has been erased, but as long as you don't forget, the Anacock Rose will always be seaworthy. It just might look a bit smaller in memory. I hope you get some time on the water with... Richie this weekend and catch everything you deserve including some new memories. Happy birthday my cherished friend. Mm. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh -huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Near Sam, I'm writing from the little hotel you recommended in downtown Juno, and you were right. The kids loved the whale mural. Our other favorite was the raven mural at City Hall. Today we took the tramway to the top of Mount Roberts. Kids wanted to hike the trail, but we only made it to the totems. Tomorrow we're going to hike to Nugget Falls to see if the glacier still looks like what's on the other side. Hope, hope. Hope you're hauling them in by the barrel load, Marianne. Mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. Missing this is your family, Sam. Okay, I think we've examined everything in this box. <laughs> Look at these ones. She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. <laughs> That's cute. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jim, you close the whole thing up. 
told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Al, are you really going to go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all that... It's all we got left. <laughs> you can't just throw it away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I ever tell you about the time I broke my leg? Shinbone snapped in three different places. <laughs> it stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, oh, she has not having none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what she told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. Poor Sam. He's, uh, not doing well. He probably should talk to somebody. Getting drunk and going in debt is probably not the best idea for him right now. Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. Honestly, she was not well, man. I've never seen her like that. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it. And you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Uh, was that you? Was that wise man you? Hey, 
like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. <laughs> Guess we're going fishing. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Good old ice fishing. Okay, the game did just save right there. Need, the so, <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for the save to pop up. I'm like, eh. okay. So, all right. This looks like a good spot to go ahead and end this episode of Tell Me Why off. So, I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.